Uh, good morning and welcome back to another episode of the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are here in Australia and we have made it to a new hunting lodge. Coop, get up! Good morning, buddy. How are you doing? Hello, friends. Oh, big, big stretch. Can I, can I give you a, uh, I can't interact with them yet. I want to, I want to give them, I want to give them a treat. There we go. Let's give them a treat. Good morning, buddy. We have a big day ahead of us. We are going to be hunting crocs. There's nothing else to say. We're going to be going after crocs today. Very excited about it. So in our last episode, we kind of roamed around here for the most part, hunted after deer and kangaroo and whatever else, but uh, we are headed east. We have this whole coastline here that we're going to be taking a look at. I'm imagining in here is where we're going to find large Australian saltwater crocodiles. So we unlocked this homestead here and we're just we're going to shoot straight northeast. We're going to see what we can find because we have the house. We've got the uh, the garage that we can spawn things in and uh, let's just get after it. So I'm going to set I guess we could go to, to this lookout point. It's going to be back this way and uh, off we go. Let's go Coop. We're off on an adventure. I really hope you don't become crocodile meat today because there's a good chance that could happen to both of us. Beautiful morning out here in the outback. Hopefully a nice easy ride over to the coast. Dude, look at the, the god rays coming through the trees and things. Dude, this game is absolutely beautiful. Gotta stick to this nice pathway here as long as we can. Got a couple of kilometers ahead of us, but uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. This is what I've really been looking forward to. You know, this, this DLC came out not too long ago, and uh, obviously hunting kangaroos is, is kind of a, a big deal, but hunting giant saltwater crocodiles is, is even bigger. I think there have been some other DLCs we've missed. There's a, a Louisiana DLC. We might be able to find some crocs and gators and maybe some other interesting stuff. So if you guys have been enjoying it, we might play some more of it, but uh, I'm... I'm nervous to say the least. This this is gonna be a hairy episode. Salt finger shore. What do we have here? We've got some tracks. A feral, a feral pig. pig. No doubt in the top three of the worst invasive species in Australia. They don't just impact a large number of threatened species, but they also wreak havoc on anything that grows. Get on it, mate. Okay, so it sounds like they're a major issue out here. If we happen to come across one of those, we will be sure to take it out. Dude, this, the underbrush here is not good. I'm I'm like, the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. I don't think we're quite in croc territory yet, but I I think we're not necessarily too far out. That's, that's a feral pig right there. Well, I mean, we, we got him plenty of times, right? Now, this this looks like a, a straight-up pig. I didn't see any, like, you know, crazy tusks or anything on it, kind of like we have with, with hogs in the U.S. Let me see what we have here. Vital organ hit just now. Yeah, he didn't make it too far. Let's go! First kill of the day. Already got one. This is a spotted feral pig. Oh, oh. Dude, they look mean. Yeah, okay, I take it back. He, he looks nasty. I'm going to confirm the trophy here. Beautiful. Went right through his uh, flesh, intestines, sacrum, and coccyx. Also hit him again in his flesh, thoracic vertebrae. All right, beautiful. Um, one trivial difficulty female. Hey, it's whatever. Let's go ahead and taxidermize this. We're going to send it back to the lodge, and we're going to keep that as a, uh, a nice trophy of our time here in Australia. Hopefully... Nothing creeping up on us here. We're 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 getting into some of the predators here, man. Uh, hogs in Florida are, are really bad. I don't know if these guys. It sounds like they're kind of a similar thing here in Australia, digging up people's crops, terrorizing, you know, the, the humans and the farmers and things. So, got to keep our head in a swivel. We get this thing reloaded. We got to stay strapped at all times here today. Be be on the lookout, Coop. Use that. Use that snoot as best as you can. All right, back on the four-wheeler. That's about the easiest type of hunting you could do, huh? Just straight up drive-by, baby. This isn't Australia. This is South Central. Just running up on them with the four-wheeler, hopping off and, and popping off. Usually doesn't work, but I guess when you're a really slow pig, it might. It's just crazy how, how different this is compared to our last episode. You know, it was so barren out and, you know... Uh, very arid desert type climate and now here we are i mean this this is jungly this is truly very jungly 
We've been clearing here. I don't want to wait and see if we see anything. Nothing. Okay. We'll keep going. I would imagine there's there's not much we're going to find. If we're rolling through the forest on a four-wheeler, we were very lucky to come across, a, you know, a couple of pigs there. The, the likelihood of us seeing anything when we're making this much noise is slim to none. There's our lookout tower on the horizon. Ooh. This is a nice little overlook here. I kind of, let's see, let's see if we can find anything in here. I see a lot of potential tracks. This is for sure some sort of a, a meetup spot of some sort. Hog deer That's eating a zone. Sighting. Hog deer aren't even supposed to be out here. One thing you should know about them, they're like ninjas. Small, fast, elusive. So make good use of those binoculars. Yeah, I think they're long gone. All right, I'm gonna leave the four-wheeler at the base of our tower and we'll take the rest on foot. Look at this bad boy. This is what I'm talking about. This is gonna give us that lay of the land that we need. Gonna be able to see what we're working with. We're making our way towards the coast, which should be off over Yon. Ooh, there's the mangroves. Wow, dude, look at this. This game is incredible. Look at that. And all of this is explorable for the most part, I, I think. I don't so let's if we if we take a look at the the map here. It looks like this beach where we're directly looking right now. Yes, that is that is playable area on this map. That is absolutely incredible. And it goes all the way I would say even a little bit further left than this. That mountain there is that mountain on our thing. That mountain is probably this right here. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. So this area in here is where we're going. This is where we're going to find the saltwater crocs here in the uh, the marshes of this this delta. Excuse you. Dude, I don't even know how we're going to get down there. That is so far away. Well, we made it. Up to the top of the mountain. I wish we had a hang glider or something. There's another house over here. Honestly, getting that house would probably be our number one objective. And then from there, we can we can move down to the, uh, the coastline. Long way down here, but we're almost there. This is a new outpost, new place for us to call home. Kick our feet up, sit back, relax, and do our thing. Fast travel point. Might even be able to spawn some, some vehicles and stuff as well. Let me go ahead and claim this. Fast travel and facilities are now available. I thought we were going to be able to go the rest on foot, but to be honest, it, I mean, we could try. How, how far is that? I guess this is the start of the marshes. So if we place a waypoint there, 500 meters, we, we can go that. Oh, we got a trampoline? Can we actually use this? No. Okay. Anyway. Let's keep going. I think we can hook the rest of it. We'll see if we can find anything on foot. The four wheelers definitely scaring stuff off. But uh, this dude, I, I'm I'm getting weird, un, unfriendly vibes here. Warning call from a bantang. What is a bantang? Coop, you got me right, bro. Coop saved us from a kangaroo in the last episode. If you gotta fight a croc, you gotta fight a croc, dude. It's so messed up to even think about. I would 100% fight a crocodile for Coop. There's no no doubt about it. I would I would risk my life. Try to distract him. There's another call happening. Bantang fleeing. We must... Must have scared him off. I don't like... This. I really liked when we were hunting the kangaroos because you could, you could see him a far distance off. This is so overgrown, which is, I guess, good and bad. The thing is, animals have much better senses than we do, so they're gonna see us most likely before we see them. That, what is that? That's a bantang. Ah, the mighty bantang. You don't see them often in this region. And did you know- Is that a cow? They can be found eating seaweeds. Bovine times. He's 172 meters away. We could take this out. Hold on, give me my big rifle. Keep an eye on it. I can't really see anything. That's got to be a hit. He's coming this way. They're not very smart, whatever they are. That's got to be another hit there. Is he charging? 
There's no way he's charging me from 150 meters. Bro, what is happening? Is he charging us right now? It... He's dead. Oh my gosh. I was starting to get a little bit nervous and I wasn't sure what we were going to do. We have a 12 gauge with some bird shot. I don't think that was the answer. We had to have hit him three times, right? I felt like those were, those were pretty good. Confirm the trophy. Yeah, we hit him three times. One flesh, one flesh jaw and skull, and one flesh right lung and left lung. So that, I mean, honestly, that was that was a solid, a solid three-peat right there. It's just, that was the, the biggest rifle we have. I think it's one of the biggest rifles in the game. We're going to taxidermize that, keep him as a trophy. And that's a Bantang. Okay, I had no clue what a Bantang was. I guess you learn something new every day. Makes me a little bit nervous about this weapon that we're using. We have the, um, this is the Range Master 338, a very powerful and durable weapon built for the most extreme conditions. The 338 cartridge combined with state-of-the-art weapon technology makes this weapon ideal for very large games such as moose and bear. With its proven stopping power, 338 has become a popular choice among guides and outfitters that make their living in bear country. So this is a bear rifle. This, uh, there's nothing more intense than a bear. I guess that thing might have had a little bit more meat on him, but I, I can't think of anything more fitting to take down Crocs. So that's why I chose it. It looks like we are creeping up into what could potentially be crocodile territory, dude. Oh my goodness. They could be anywhere. These mangroves. I recognize them. I, I genuinely think the dumbest thing that I have ever done. And I, I, I like... I put myself and Chelsea in danger and it, it, it makes me upset. I had no idea in the moment and looking back on it, like I should have known. So we were up in the Northeast part of Australia. It was near Cairns, which is where, you know, if you're going to go do the Great Barrier Reef, a lot of people will do it from Cairns and you take kind of a, a fairly long boat ride out to the reef and you can go snorkel and whatever. And it's, it's a great time. Well, when we were there, we rented a car. One of our favorite things to do just in life, no matter where we go, is we just like to rent a car and drive and just whatever catches our interest we stop if we see a place that looks super local we stop we hang out we get to know people if we see a beautiful beach or a cool cliffside or whatever on the side of the road we just stop we do whatever we want and it's it's one of our favorite pastimes we were you know coming around this bin and it was so beautiful every part of, of the coast of australia is just so so beautiful we have tracks over here we have a lot of tracks ah! oh my God! okay there's something there he hissed at me I'm going to finish my story in a second. Bro, they could be anywhere. That's so hard to see. I'm, I'm, I'm not going. Oh my God, I'm scared. Anyway, so we, we stopped and there was like this big beach that was four football fields long before you got to the water. And as it turns out, this was like major crocodile country. We didn't know in the moment, but big saltwater crocodiles like we're about to see in this episode. We're all in that area and it's, it's not really a safe place to go unless you know what you're doing. And we had no idea what we were doing and we had no idea that... We were potentially in a bad spot, but we were just vibing and having a good time. It ended up working out. We had a good time, but just be careful. Yes, these are saltwater croc footprints. The biggest reptile in the world. Oh, there he is. Highly aggressive. Holy sh! If you don't know what you're doing, oh, he's fast. You'll be the prey. So be careful with this one, mate. I don't like this. I don't know if I can do this. It looked like he was trying to flank us. Did it not look like he was purposefully going off to the right? Are they are they running? They got some kind of a, a, a hustle here. Is he running off and then there's going to be one sneaking up behind us? I hear some birds. Dude, it is scary how how similar these mangrove trees here, though. It's it's literally exactly what we had seen. It was a little bit more beachy there. It wasn't as, as swampy as this. So maybe we were in a slightly better spot than what we thought. But I, I don't know. I, I think it was definitely croc territory. I'm trying to see one from a long distance away and just pepper him. Dude, this is like, it's perfect for them. They could be in any one of these. And you'd never know. Although the, the first one we saw was massive. The second one wasn't nearly as big. How are you supposed to pick one out amongst all this nonsense? And we obviously... Don't want to just wade through it. Can they be in? I'm assuming they can be in the water too. I don't think you can swim in this game, but I'm assuming they can. I'm so scared. We're, we're getting into it, Coop. We're getting into the thick of it here. This feels like a very bad idea. Just watch your step. Watch your step, buddy. That's a log. Oh my god, dude. How do you pick them out from a log? I'm hoping we find one that's sunbathing up on a, a ledge. 
These cold-blooded beasts like to sunbathe. There's one right there. I wouldn't have even seen him without the spot animal button. Yeah, he's swimming. They can they can 100%. Or he might he might he's walking now. Do we think we can I mean that's that's how far? 75 meters. Give me my big gun. We're going to bring it down to 75. All the noises and the footsteps do not make me feel comfortable. I'm not even sure if we hit him there. Is that one? No. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go track him. Unless I get like a clear headshot kill, he's like dead dead. There, there's just no way. I, I, I don't even know what weapon you bring to this. I know in Florida, if people are going gator hunting, which I've never done, and I'm, I'm not sure I would because I don't, I, I don't know. It's kind of a weird moral spot. I don't I don't think I would. But um, people will oftentimes use like bang sticks and stuff, which is like an explosive on the end of a stick. But we, I don't think we have those here. Dude, this is so freaking scary. This is the most scared I've been in this game. I every All of these, they look like they're tails. Like all the sharp little things. Like there's a reason these things have been around for millions of years. There's a reason these are dinosaurs. Absolute apex predators blend in with their environment, tough as nails. If they get a hold of you, you're done. Like, how do you thrive in an environment like this? This is outrageous. There he is. Disappeared into the water. He's swimming away. Let's go get him. I don't know where my balls just came from, but I, I found some. Let's go get him. Coop, chill. Is that you that was growling or them? Because I know they kind of growl like dogs sometimes too. Who are you growling at? I really thought I was... What is that? Is that something dead? That's a plant. Yo, Coop is freaking out. You're making me really scared, dude. Just chill, just chill. I thought we were gonna be able to come out here and see him floating and we were just gonna pop him off the top, but no, that's not how that works. It's not getting dark, is it? If it's if it's getting dark, I I quit. He's he sees something out there. There's something, something out there that's bothering him. Can they retreat out into the water like that? I feel like walking the shoreline is probably the worst place to be, Trev. But we're we're just gonna keep him moving. Yo, these things. The fact that they're that big. Oh, there's a big boy, 200 meters away. The fact that they're that big, but they can just disappear in an instant, and they're just gone. There's no no trace of them. Where was that big one on the beach? There he is. That's a different one, though, I think. Holy sh Holy sh Holy sh I can't shoot again? Oh my god. Coop, get away from the water, dude. Come on. Don't be an idiot. Oh my god, this is so scary. What the fudge? How are we supposed to kill these things? I need something that fires multiple times. I, I don't think we came equipped with the right weapon. There, there's no way, dude. There's I, we, I think we got to go back to camp. I might take a, a pop. Was there? Was this guy still over here? I'm sweating profusely, bro. What is this freaking game? I, I, I feel like if one of them charges us, which they're, they're very clearly not that scared of us, if they're he came at us and then swam sideways, like they're 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 having a, a time with us. And I, I don't, I don't think we're ready to have a time. I think we need more firepower. I feel like we need something that has a bigger magazine size. We need to be able to follow up fairly quickly. So this is the Range Master 338 that we've been using. 
The 243 has a five round magazine. This is a bolt action. I don't know if we want that. King 470 DB Apex with two rounds. A big double that demands respect. Put against animals that wouldn't be phased by more traditional ammunition. I might go with this. We're gonna have to spend $90,000 on this rifle, but we're, we're gonna buy that. And then we're gonna buy, oh my gosh. 470 Nitro Express FMJ bullets or soft point bullets. The FMJ does better penetration less expansion or do we want less penetration and more expansion i would expect we want the fmjs so i'm gonna ooh, these are twenty six hundred and sixty dollars every 10 bullets so I'm, I'm gonna buy 50 of them yeah we're balling out i'm also thinking oh look at this the rhino 454 mainly used as a bear stopper sidearm this hand cannon packs enough punch to drop a bear in one bullet we've got five rounds in that so i'm gonna buy this forty eight thousand dollars as our sidearm and then let's get uh, hard cast bullets or hollow point bullets. Again, I think we want hard cast. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. So this is gonna be where if something hits the fan and they start charging us, we've got something that we can quick swap to Captain Price style and finish them with the sidearm. Ooh. See that, that gives me a little bit more confidence. I just didn't, I didn't love the fact that we were shooting one at a time, so that's that. And then this is gonna be our, our big dog. Oh, more benting. Okay. They're alert. They're very close. Is this within the range of our, our big dog? I have no, I have no clue how close we have to be for this. Oh my gosh, they're all coming this way. Oh wow, okay. Um. Just take what we can get here. Probably should have used this off the rip. I'm gonna try to get, uh, try to get the big dog. We already have one down. Probably gonna get a second one down there. I feel bad, dude. This is too easy. This, this is not right. I'm not gonna shoot them. These guys are, are friendly. They look not, I, I like cows. I, I really, really like cows. Let's save the harvest. We're at least gonna use the meat of the ones that we did take. Cows are like big dogs. They're so smart. They're so nice. They're so social. They like pets. They like humans. I, they're, they're, I don't understand why we're hunting bantings. I feel bad. I should not. I should have not, not have popped off like that. But hey, we're gonna. Oop! Not taxidermize. We're gonna save the meat, and we'll make sure that they get, you know, restrung into the circle that is life. Hey Siri, where do you shoot a crocodile? I'm imagining in the head. If you can get somewhere in between the eyes, or kind of like by the ear. We've had a hard time sneaking up on these things, though. I think we need to be a lot more careful. Shoot in the the point of the smile to break the spine. Distance between the center of the eye and the center of the nostril in inches is equivalent to total length in feet. Interesting. So it looks like right behind the eye, right like a couple inches behind the eye might be our best case scenario. These tracks, you can follow them, but don't forget to also look up and observe what's in front of you. Here we go, there's a big boy, 163 away. See that pretty much right where we're aiming right now is where we want to be. So I'm gonna get our, I'm gonna get our not this one. I don't like that one. That's our strongest weapon, but it's it's up close. I think. Hold on, I'm gonna crouch. Dude, he's just vibing. Oh shoot, we're out of we're out of breath. Hold on, gotta get our heart rate down. We're fine. We have the one up and on this stupid lizard this time. Just keep an eye on him. Jesus, dude, I. You can't, can you hold your breath a little bit longer, please? He didn't even move. He's angry, okay. Can we, how do you, how do you, how do I get all the way down? He's moving now. Good job, Trev. He didn't move far though. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit closer. He's exactly 150 meters. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my gosh. Okay, this, this is our guy right here. Right here, right now. Calm your heart rate. He's dead. One shot KO. That's what I'm talking about. One for the humans, baby. His buddy's angry. Look at that. That's that's how we get it done, Siri. Showed me right. All right, we're gonna have to sneak up on him a little bit. The problem is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be brave. Oh, this is oh my gosh, dude. This this is shooting fish in a barrel when you're this far away. Ooh, that might have been a little bit low. Definitely hit him, but he's gonna die. 
He's running out into the water. All right, let's go. The problem is we are gonna have to claim the kill, which means getting a little bit too up close and personal. I'm just gonna get the spray and pray out. I have a feeling that other one's gonna die. That was a pretty good hit on him. So our our weapon was good. We were just hunting him wrong. Oh, oh, that's that's the dead one. Okay, good. We were not aiming in the right spot. We also were not hunting. We were being hunted. Confirm the trophy. Oh my goodness, dude. Class seven, three difficulty, very easy. He wasn't moving or anything, but uh, we'll take it. Taxidermize, beautiful. That's what I'm talking about. Now this other one, let's track him, bud. Do we see him out here? We may not have killed him. He definitely went this way. Surface depression just now. Dude, he could be, I mean, they, they could be like right here. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it moving. Just keep an eye on our back. He could leave the water at any point, but we're gonna look for our next, our next target. Feels good to be the threat. These guys are scaring the absolute crap out of me. They still are. You see him, boy? You see him, boy? Go get him. Track him. That is a terrible thing for you to do, Trev. But yeah, go, tra go track him. You get him. You, you got it, dude. Oh, God. Coop, I feel like this is a bad idea. I feel like waiting in the water is a really bad idea. If there was a time and place to swim, it's it's not now. Let's um let's go ahead and, and uh heal. Come on back, buddy. Please, please don't do this to me. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. We're good. Uh, how about we just leave like the growling and stuff to a minimum, unless there's something creeping up behind us, okay? We I, I don't need the increased stress. Absolutely hate this. We're gonna keep it moving. Should probably probably keep a weapon out. Oh, there's a monster. 100 meters away. I feel like these guys are pretty lazy. Like, I... I f what the fudge? Oh, another monster. Dog, is since the tracked animal is about to spook, adjust your approach accordingly. We're going to be fine. I'm going to put a bullet in his head. How's that feel, you son of a bitch? Woo! We gotta reload. I hate that you have to reload every time. I also hate that they go in the water, dude. That is such horse manure. If it's not the perfect shot that breaks their spine, you're done. They're, they're out. Can we see them? At all. No. Oh, there's another one right there. 162 meters. I feel like we got good hits on both of these guys. It was close. It wasn't ideal. They were moving. The one I pretty much shot down the throat, but they both disappeared. I just, I wonder if they're going out and they end up dying out there. Do they like, do they float? Will we be able to see them? Are they organizing a, why are you climbing the trees, Coop? Are they organizing an attack? There's one right there. Got his tail. With every one that we, we shoot, I get a... Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, bitch, let's go! You thought, huh? You thought! Woo! Yes, sir! You really thought you were gonna do something, didn't you? I didn't think so. Oh, my goodness. Let me, let me see the shot. Oh, right in his vertebrae. We'll take it. I'm gonna save that harvest. Oh my goodness. Okay, that, I, I, I almost had to change my pants on that one. I'm not even joking. How far away is he? I, I, dude, I, I can't, I can't stand the, the growling. Right in the mouth. He's gotta be done, right? He's moving. Bro, I hate this. I'm I'm like kind of fight or flight frozen in fear right now because I feel like they're on top of us. I don't like that they could be anywhere out here and we couldn't see them. At least in here, the water's kind of shallow. I don't think our cell phone's going to do much for us, bro. It's kind of shallow. We could probably see them. You all right, Coop? 
Stirring up a lot of water over there. I wonder, this is probably the best close range weapon for them. The ones that were shooting down their gullet, I don't know how they're not insta dead. I mean, we're hitting, you know, you're you're hitting the Amandula Gambliata. Do they have an Abdula Gambliata? Whatever the heck that thing is called. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's getting dark. Okay. I think our hunt may be, may be called to an end here soon. I don't, I don't think I really want to mess with that. I kind of want to use this gun though. Ooh. Let's go, baby. Come on. Pop off. Bring it. Oh, you're running, huh? Oh, sh Oh, sh Is he dead? He's dead. Let's go! Those were both not very good shots. But I'm gonna take it. Dude, these things are absolutely terrifying. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna- I, I'm just- I'm gonna push- I'm gonna push the coastline. I'm gonna hope that they're not in the water and they're not gonna pop out and get us. I, the fact that they charge you is absolutely terrifying. I wonder what would happen if we got, if we got bit. I, I'm really, I'm really kind of curious. I don't think we've ever been charged by any. Have we done like grizzly hunting in this game or anything? I can't think of, of a worse way to go, dude. Just a giant crocodile grabbing you, dragging you into the water, death rolling you. It would be so painful, so drawn out. This is where it gets really swampy. Not my favorite. I don't even see any in here, dude. I feel like they've been everywhere. Maybe they don't like the rain? I'm getting brash. We're, we're, waist, we're waist deep in water right now, dude. Oh my God, this is the worst idea I've ever had. I really want to see, I've, I'm kind of, I'm kind of gonna, gonna free bird it. I'm looking for one, I, I want to see what happens. This, this like if, ch ah! I see him. Come on, son, let's go. What you got? Oh, he's coming at us. Oh my God. Oh, okay. So we can still save ourselves, but I, I kind of want to see what happens if you don't. Do you just take damage? Is this thing going to grab us and drag us off? We're, we're going to find out. I'm, I'm Trevor. Welcome to Jackass. Um, tre tre Trevo, Trevo. Welcome to Jackass. This is getting bit by an Australian saltwater crocodile. Dude, this pistol is a boss. I, I feel way, way more confident with this. We've made it so far up the coast, dude. Look at this. I'm so proud of us, man. We, we did it. I nearly had a heart attack and I, I, my chest kind of hurts a little bit, but we did it. This is kind of some of the stuff Chelsea and I were walking through right here, where it's like Sandy, Tomba Coast. Thought I, saw, is this one right here? Yes, it is. All right, buddy. Um, it, I, I just was wondering if I could borrow, you know, like a, a pint of sugar or something. <laughs> what the push, dude? They're so scary. Will he back off or will he keep? Okay, no, they run away. Okay. Bit anticlimactic, but I mean, oh, he's going to come back. He's, he's coming. He's come. Nope. He's going to run away. That's what I thought. You little punk. You little punk. You thought you were the, the king of the, the animal kingdom, but no, sir. We are holding it down. You've been here a lot longer than us, dude. Look at the claws on that thing. This is just ridiculous. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. We faced some fears here. My goodness, this was absolutely terrifying. Uh, oh, they're back. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh my God, run, run, run. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to see more from this, this game, let me know. Oh my God, Coop, get the out of here what in the world okay i that actually just scared me um it's been a long time since we played this game i've really missed it i know we missed a bunch of dlc i'm gonna look into what kind of looks exciting and what might be good and what what might not but uh, if you guys want more let me know thanks for watching peace out